Hi, are you looking to get into Shopify API development? Well, today we're going to cover exactly that, how to start, what type of projects are available, what you can do with Shopify API development. We'll cover a real example of a Shopify API project and how to get your first clients as a Shopify API developer. Furthermore, we'll cover which types of projects are related to Shopify API development because obviously an API is just a tool in addition to the other types of stuff you can do with Shopify. So why should you listen to me with regards to Shopify? API development? Well, I've been in web development myself since 2008, and I've taught over 700 people how to get into the industry since 2014. So let's get right into it. But before we do that, click the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you get future updates and to support the channel. So what is Shopify API? It's a tool that allows you to integrate almost anything else with Shopify and to expand the opportunities that Shopify gives us. So to expand the functionality of Shopify with external tools and to build your own tools. The most common projects that are related to Shopify API development are Shopify themes and Shopify apps. So what are some projects that you can do as as a Shopify API developer? Well, I have a list here. So logistics and supply chain management software, order fulfillment solutions, mobile e-commerce apps, retail business intelligence and analytics software, uh, multi-channel e-commerce software, repricing and price optimization solutions, email marketing, and almost any other industry you can imagine because Shopify API allows you to pull data out of Shopify and also deposit data into Shopify. So let's talk about the most common implementation with Shopify API. This is a real project that was done recently and it's actually based on several projects because this is the most common type of project for Shopify API. So imagine a retail store and in the retail store, there's stock and there's inventory also in stock in a warehouse. So what does Shopify API allow you to do? Let's say the shop isn't open because of circumstances and they have to sell exclusively online or they sell both online and offline. How do you keep track of the inventory so that the online shop doesn't sell anything that is currently out of stock? Well, for this, you need to have an external tool, which is an in-house tool or some non-custom tool that already exists for the offline business where you track inventory. So here's what happens. Essentially, someone orders online and inventory goes down. So online inventory is obvious and easy via Shopify. But what if someone buys offline, then the Shopify API allows you to have your offline business communicate with your online part of your business or your clients business and update the e commerce platform with the correct number of items in inventory. That way you never sell something that is currently out of stock. This is the most common implementation with Shopify API. So how does Shopify API work? for you as a developer? Well, Shopify API is REST based with JSON and it's delivered via HTTPS. Essentially, um, how to get started with Shopify API is you create a Shopify partner account, this is directly from their website. Uh, you create a development store and you generate API credentials from the store admin. And it's pretty much that just to get the first steps done. After that, you really need to have a good developer or be a good developer yourself to have it communicate properly and not have any mistakes in there because a mistake can be very pricey with chargebacks and other issues that clients may have. So as I promised, this video is about how to become a Shopify API developer. Well, for this, I have several things for you. First, let me give you a quick summary of what to do. The easiest and fastest way to get started as a Shopify API developer is to go on freelancing platforms like Upwork.com, create an account and look for Shopify projects. The most common ones are theme and app implementations, as I mentioned before. So what you do on Upwork is create an amazing profile and submit lots of proposals to get some traction on the platform and get lots of sales calls and talk to clients who want to have Shopify implementations, which require Shopify API. Now for this, I've created a whole series of videos for you, a whole series of tutorials on how to get started as a freelancer or agency owner. And if you want to sell Shopify API implementations, then I suggest that you click the video right here and take a look at the rest of the explanation on how to get clients specifically. Now, there are several videos. We cover everything that you need. We cover how to get your first client, how much to price the Shopify API implementation and everything else that you need to know to get started. So click right here 
to watch the video on how to get started on Upwork in the e-commerce industry, namely with Shopify. It will help you a lot. And if it's not enough, just comment below, below the videos, and I'll personally respond to your questions. So thank you for watching. Leave a comment below, subscribe, and let's see the next video right here about how to get started as a Shopify API developer.